I have just been and had a all day breakfast at a cafe and it was served to me on a bloody breadboard. What is that all about? That, nothing winds me up more than that. I had a burger the other day and it came out to me on a bit of slate. It's ridiculous. How can you eat an all day breakfast of a bloody breadboard? The beans and stuff are in a sodden ramekin. I don't want them in a ramekin. I want them on a plate with the rest of the food. Drives me mad. Restaurants, food should be served on a bloody plate, not on a breadboard, not on a bit of slate, not on some arty farty creation. Makes me sick. And all day breakfast is a sacred thing. It should be served properly. I don't know. And then I get home and I see all these comments from my last video. Oh, Callum, you can't say that. Children shouldn't be hit. You shouldn't be abusing them. I'm not saying to hit them. I'm talking about discipline, hearing the word no. There are ways to discipline the children without smacking them round. Unbelievable that your minds go there. I'm talking about parents taking responsibility and saying no to their children, making them behave, telling them off. It's a word they need to bloody hear more often, I tell you. I like kids, you know, I'm fine with it. It's just a really bad behaved ones, and it's not their fault. It's their bloody parents taking the easy way out. Unbelievable. And this, up above me, is not a bloody willy, as so many of you keep saying. Look, it's a cloud with rain coming out of it. I mean, it's ridiculous. Amy, my sister, crafted it. I hate it, but it's not a bloody willy. It's clearly not a willy. And on top of all of this, bloody true Geordie mentioned me in his podcast. Pod, 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 podcast. Couldn't even get my words out. His podcast last night. I'm not going to make a reply on it yet. I'm going to go back and watch it. But I am pretty close to trigger point at the moment. Right, this video is a response to the true Geordie. I didn't want to have to make this, but I've just watched a podcast again. And there's no way I'm letting this lie. Unbelievable. Right, first of all, your accusation. You're putting your name in my title for views. I don't care about views. This isn't my job. I've got a real job. And actually, I bloody removed my video about you about a month ago. I thought, I thought this guy actually, although he's weirdly obsessed with anal sex and stuff, he's actually got a little bit of heart of passion to him. I was on the verge of subscribing to your channel. You can forget it after this. Absolutely forget it. What else were you saying? That you're going you're gonna to sweep my legs out from under me. Oh, there it comes back again, doesn't it? That weird little fetish you've got. You're going to shake my head around. You're going to make it wobble. I would love to see you try that. Love it. I mean, for one, you couldn't get close to me, could you? Let's be honest. I could outrun you. I could dance around you. And number two, do you know how strong my neck is? Look at it, right? It's got to be, one, because... It's got to support this head. And number two, I'm constantly doing work with my neck on ducking and weaving and jabbing and moving. No one's got a stronger or a faster neck than me. I think you're just jealous, to be honest with you. <coughs> Cough when I get cross. I think you're just jealous. <coughs> you're just jealous because you've got no bloody neck. I mean, look at you. Your head just goes straight into your shoulders. It looks like some kind of misshapen testicle or something. And you're mocking me. You are mocking me. Bugger off. You can forget any kind of reconciliation, right? You can forget it. I was softening on you. I thought, let him have his little delusion as a grander. It doesn't matter. Well, it does bloody matter. You couldn't be a king of the north. Look at king of the north, all these bloody tattoos, your slag tags going up your neck. That's not bloody regal. Court jester, that's what you can be, a court bloody jester. Dance me, Drew Geordie, dance me. Idiot. I have had it now. I am beyond what I am willing to accept. Today, I have just about my fill of this pathetic, disgusting abuse. First of all, I'm trying to do my Christmas shopping and I'll take a break and have a burger in Burger King and I'll get abuse, I'll get stuff chucked at me and people calling me Tic Tac Head. When I try and confront them, when I only try and confront them, it comes out that I'm the bad guy, that I'm making a scene. Pathetic! And then I come home, I come home, I open my gate and walk in and I slip, I slip because someone has put hundreds of Tic Tacs on my front path. I had a moment of realisation sitting there with my arse bloody pounding, surrounded by these damp Tic Tacs like they're some kind of satanic rabbit shit. I'm not accepting this anymore. It has been weeks since I've mentioned about Tic Tac. Months it has been since I even did a self-defense video or a dance video because people mock me. And I'm changing because of the abuse. I'm not standing for this anymore. If you still want to call me Tic Tac head, it be it on your own head. I can't help the way my head looks, can I? 
It's probably this shape because of all the bloody knowledge and intelligence that's stuck up there. It's all of you who've got stupid, tiny little shrunken heads with no bloody brains in there that's got the problem, not me. I have taken advice. I've not mentioned it. Everyone said it will go away. Well, it's not going away. People are at my bloody house. People are mentioned on every single video I post, Tic Tac Head. And I gave you all a pass on that last one. I never made a video about you. I felt sorry for you. I thought it's just a joke. I let it go. I let it go. But it's done no bloody good to me. Now I will rise like a phoenix from the ashes and I will avenge anyone who dares to come at me. Come and face me, mano a mano, rather than pathetically. Sprinkling tic tacs in my front garden. You obviously know where I live. And those of you who are abusing me online, you've had beyond enough warnings now. I have got files upon files of you. This is, if you abuse me again, you're giving your consent to being destroyed in a video. This head is nothing's wrong with this head. Nothing is wrong with it. I will rise from the ashes and I will avenge you like a Targaryen dragon. Ah! Something awful has happened. I've just had it now with my disgusting, dirty spasmoid of a sister trying to prank me for her stupid YouTube channel. I was having a bacon sandwich. I thought I'll get some food in me before I start my stream so I'm not hungry and I can stream for as long as I want. Sitting there eating it, my sister comes in, gets her phone out and shows me this video. Oh, it's so gross. And it's her, Robin. Oh. <laughs> Let me stick again. It's her, Robin. Use, use tampon. <laughs> Robin, squeezing out a used tampon over the bacon, raw bacon in the fridge. I've just cooked up and eaten. But he's smug as you're like looking at me. It's going on about, oh, you're vegan. You're... I'm not very vegan. You're vegan. Going on about how I shouldn't care because I eat meat and it's the same bloody thing. I eat meat because it tastes good. I don't want to eat the discharge from my sister's body. It's disgusting. The same way she doesn't eat meat because she doesn't like it apart from man meat, which she bloody loves. It's enough of that, doesn't she? Well, uh, I've just suffered one of the most disrespectful spasmoids that I've ever encountered, right? I'm down in Stokes Croft, putting myself out there for my videos, doing this bloody vegan trial in a vegan cafe, right? Having a sweet potato burger. And it's not even that bad, to be honest with you. I mean, I would have preferred a proper burger if I'm being honest with you. But that's not even the point, right? And this spasmoid comes up to me, absolute bloody trust fund hippie comes up to me in the bloody restaurant and he starts chatting at me he says aren't you that bloke who makes those videos and I'm like yeah yeah I am thinking he's probably watched them and he probably wants to buy me my meal or something because he knows what I'm doing and he starts having a go at me saying he's watched my veganism debunked video and he thinks I'm just disgusting and I'm disrespectful and that I'm rude and that I'm uninformed and I'm trying to talk to him and say look You've got the absolutely, you've got the wrong end of the stick. I'm actually doing a bloody two week vegan challenge so I can make a fair video on it. And he won't listen to me at all. Just wants to hear his own bloody voice. He's even a go at me and stuff. And then he starts looking at what I'm wearing and stuff. And he goes, he looks at my John he says, is that wool? You're wearing wool in a vegan thing. I, I don't even know if it's wool. I said, I doubt it. I bought it from Primani for 10 quid. <coughs> cough when I get mad. Bought it from Prime. <coughs> Primarily for 10 quid, right? And he's like, you don't even know, do you? You're clueless. I'm clueless, right? I'm looking at this bloody trust fund hippie standing in front of me and I'm the one who's clueless, right? He's wearing a mixture of between shorts and trousers, the last bloody foot of his legs bare in the middle of January and I'm the one who's clueless. He's a bloody white bloke with dreadlocks and I'm the one who's clueless. You're bloody white. You've got dreadlocks. You're a spasmoid. Wait. I gave him a wide burst, got into the bakery, ordered my bacon roll, and I'm up at the counter choosing a bloody cake. He come in, he's not stopped crying, she's gone back on there, he's still screaming and shouting, and he walks past the buggy and he flings and smacks it one in his little tantrum and wakes Eddie up. I looked at her, she doesn't say a word to me or to him, it's disgusting. 
unbelievable. So I'm rocking Eddie now, rocking the buggy to try and settle him back down again. I'll have a Belgian bun, please, to put the lady. Move out of the way so they can go next. So I'm just waiting for my bacon roll to be wrapped up and stuff. Anyway, she's going to the little kid. Oh, you can choose a cake, honey. You can choose a cake. You know, it's all right. It's all right. Oh, revolting. Anyway, he says, I wanted the one with the cherry on. I want the Belgian bun. No, nope, I've had the last one. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it, you little brat. Anyway, you're not, not just going to say to him, oh, no, there's no Belgian bun. Let's choose another one. There's a bloody load of cakes there. She turns to me, looks at me, and she says, oh, he really was hoping for a Belgian bun. He does like them. Bugger off. So I said, yeah, so do I. And she looks at me, again, she's not just going to leave it, she pushes it again and says, oh, I really do think you could just let him have it, he's just a kid. Oh, just, I've, I've had it at this point. I, said, I really do think that you could have asked me nicely and said please, rather than just insinuating that I should give it to him. And I really do think that you could have apologised when your son is having a tantrum and he's smashed the buggy and woken up my nephew. Unbelievable.